He's got it. Got him. Oh gosh. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh. Oh, we got her. We got her out in the canal. Boy, the water's just dropping. Boy, we were really struggling. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I know what else to throw. I really didn't. I had no idea what else to throw. We saw this with fish pushing awake earlier. That's a nice fatty. We uh, picked up the old wacky. I said, I promise I won't pull a worm out today. <sighs> well, I lied. <laughs> Man, that's so crazy. Like, swallowed it. Max sent general there, man. Jeez. I'm telling you, we couldn't get him to eat anything. I mean, gosh, just throwing, throwing. No bites. First cast in there, he swallowed this thing. It's just crazy. It's crazy how sometimes, with all the perfect conditions, um, you still got to slow down. Slow down and throw a worm. Man. Oh, that was so cool. I'm drop him in there. I had to pull out the wacky worm. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry about it, but we were not catching anything. And the old wacky, I think it was second cast. We caught, one, caught that nice one. I'm um, just throwing it on a, you know, my favorite wacky rig setup is a seven foot uh, medium heavy uh, Fantasista Premier. And, uh, it was, you know, I think one of the main keys is I have eight pound fire line as my main line. And then I'll change the leader up some. Sometimes I'll put eight, sometimes I'll put 10. But the leader I'm going to use because this fire line is not going to stretch at all. Um, so I'm going to use a uh, I'm going to use a Berkeley fluorocarbon XL, not not the 100% fluorocarbon. I'm going to use the fluorocarbon that's the XL. It's a little bit softer. Um, it's got a lot more stretch. So you know when you hook a good fish and he goes to take off, you're not going to break off uh, where your braid's tied to your fluorocarbon. You know, for years, you know, I threw the wacky rig and, and just, you know, it was a great bait, caught a ton of fish on it. Uh, something I noticed over the last four or five years um, when I actually got some of, of my major wins on uh, was the Berkeley Powerbait Max Scent. And I mean, it's, it, it's, it's incredible how, you know, when they follow that worm down, some of these fish that have already been caught, um, you know, heavy pressured areas, uh, you know, especially in tournament time where everybody's catching them, man, it really, that Max Scent really helps uh, get a few more bites to where those fish would come up and put their nose on it and be following it down and they, they would realize that, you know, that better not eat this. And uh, something with that max scent, they just, last second, they just, you know, end up swallowing it, you know, just like that last one. I mean, it was down his throat. And earlier, you know, we threw all through there and it wouldn't even pay any attention to our baits. So scent's definitely a, a big key uh, when wacky rigging. Uh, you know, when I'm wacky rigging, I've tried a ton of hooks, ton of different hooks, you know, and, and I really feel like a number one Berkeley Fusion, not Fusion 19, wide gap, finesse wide gap, that is the hook. It's, it's not a very, very big hook. It's, it's uh, actually David Dudley made a lot of fun of me, uh, telling me that, that that is why he won AOI and beat me because I was using too small of a wacky rig hook. But that is my favorite. Number one. Berkeley Fusion 19, finesse wide gap. Um, seems to really get the job. I mean, it, it, you know, I think it's a five inch uh, Berkeley General, um, but I feel like that's the perfect size for wacky rig. Uh, another thing is when I'm throwing the wacky, I, I normally never overhand cast it. I always underhand uh, long pitches and it just, you know what it does, it really keeps my knot in really good shape, uh, you know, where my, my two lines are tied together. And, uh, and I just feel a lot more accurate uh, just pitching it instead of casting. 